Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this impossible triangle using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.8.3. So like always, we need a new design. For that, we go to File, New. I'm going to select my 1920 by 1080 as usual, but you can use any dimensions that you want. Perfect. So before we continue, let's make sure that we have the same settings. So let's go to view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Good. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a rectangle. For that, I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle as you see. Make sure that it's longer or wider than taller. And then I'm going to use on my transforms. I'm going to the shear and I'm going to type minus 30 degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color. This is just only for us to see what we are doing and which, uh, which ones are we selecting. Then I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to click and drag. So I'm going to create um, some copies. And Holding shift, I'm going to rotate 60 degrees and I'm going to place it, as you can see, align one with the other one. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Then I'm going to select both and I'm coming here to my geometry and I'm going to select add. So now we have just one shape. Then I'm going to select the other one. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to rotate it back again. Now I'm going to rotate it minus 60 degrees and I'm going to place it there at the border. Make sure that it is perfectly aligned. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it higher. So I'm going to my transform tab and uh, where they, I get the height, I'm going to multiply by two. So I make it twice. And then I'm going to send it to the top and then select everything, go to geometry and subtract. Now that we have this shape, I'm going to, I'm holding Alt or Option, click and drag to create a different copies. And then I'm going to change the color so we can see what, which ones are we moving. I'm going to click and rotate this one 120 degrees and I'm going to place it in here. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned again. And then what I'm going to do is, and then, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other one and rotate it min rotate minus 120 degrees. And I'm going to place it as you can see. Again, make sure that are perfectly aligned. Good. And basically we are almost finished. I'm going to click and drag and select everything. I'm going to make it all black and now I'm going to ch change the shades so we can have a better view of uh, each of the sides. Now I'm going to click and drag to select everything. Put it more or less in the center. Command G just to group everything. I'm going to put it in the center. And then like always, I'm going to create my background. So I'm going to put a rectangle. I'm going to change the color. Something like that, and then we send it to the to the back, and basically that's it. It's quite simple. It's very simple how to do it with Affinity Designer. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and please leave any comment in the section down below. Thank you very much for watching. 
And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.